Welcome to the Diabetes Technology Network Glucose Monitoring Education Programme. My name is Emma Wilmot and I'm Chair of the Diabetes Technology Network and I'm also a consultant diabetologist in Derby. Here are my disclosures. So these education modules have been developed by a number of healthcare professionals from across the UK with user input into the content. They've been designed for people with type 1 diabetes who are using flash glucose monitoring and also for the healthcare professionals who are supporting them in their clinics. Ultimately, we want to provide you with the knowledge and insight you need to make the most of this device. Now, if you're not so familiar with the Freestyle Libre, you may be wondering what the fuss is all about. Well, the Freestyle Libre is a disc that's worn on the arm for 14 days, and it replaces the four to 10 painful finger stick blood tests that people with type one diabetes are expected to do on a daily basis. In November 2017, flash glucose monitoring became available on the NHS drug tariff. Since then, there has been a huge increase in the uptake of people using the Freestyle Libre, but there is a huge variation in access. Here you will see that in Northern Ireland, they are leading the way with over 44% of people with type 1 diabetes having access followed by Wales, where 19% of people have access, and then Scotland, where 13% of people are using it. In England, we lag way behind with only 3%. However, NHS England are taking steps to ensure more equitable access across the country. So what does the evidence for the Freestyle Libre show? Well, we know that it is very good at reducing hypoglycemia in people with well-controlled type 1 diabetes. And it's also been shown to be a safe replacement for blood glucose monitoring. There are some emerging real world data suggesting that if your HbA1c is elevated, that will also reduce your HbA1c through use. The Diabetes Technology Network has developed a range of modules that cover a lot of topics related to the Freestyle Libre. Mike Kendall shares his personal experiences of using the Freestyle Libre. Geraldine Gallen discusses the daily traces and how you make the most of those. Myself and Jackie Elliott have developed modules on both basal and bolus insulin to help you optimise your insulin dosing, while Nicola Taylor, dietitian from Derby, discusses the role of carbohydrates in helping optimise Freestyle Libre use. Fraser Gibb from Edinburgh will help you think about how you review your data and make the most of all the information that it provides, followed by myself and Nick Rycroft discussing the diabetes roller coaster those wild swings in glucose and how to get them under control. For the exercise enthusiasts out there, I'm delighted to report that Parth Narandan and Rob Andrews, national experts in exercise and type 1 diabetes, have put together a module particularly for you. We then have Pratik Chowdhury from London on a module on hypoglycemia and also thinking about how you react to the arrows and the trends. Followed by Ian Cranston from Portsmouth, who discusses glycemic variability and how to tackle this. So we hope that you find these modules comprehensive and suitable to your needs. You can download them online and listen to them on your own time if you haven't participated in the webcast today. The slides are there to download by healthcare professionals for use in clinics, and we also have a Freestyle Libre quiz which you are able to participate in also. A little word of warning, the advice given in these modules may not apply to all, and if you have any queries or questions, please reach out to your local diabetes team. We hope you find these modules useful, and I'd like to thank all of the healthcare professionals and people with diabetes who have contributed to the development of these modules. Thank you.